Today we ask what's stopping you? We all say we're going to write a book, run a marathon or work for a charity, but we don't. We put it off till next week, next month, next year. Well, we're about to meet someone who, unlike the rest of us, has made that brave step towards a new life. So Rachel, can you tell me what your job is now? Yep, yeah, so here at Oxfam I'm the Head of Marketing Intelligence and my team look at researching the way the general public in the UK think about Oxfam, how they would like to support us, what they'd like to know about us in the future and we build our strategy for communicating with the UK public based on that research. And what were you doing before? So before I worked for Oxfam, I worked in marketing for a big multinational company. I lived in Geneva. It was quite a stressful life. I had to work really long hours for something I didn't really enjoy. And were there any specific triggers that prompted you to change your career? There was one specific event. There was a growing sense of really not feeling very satisfied with just selling products that were making money for shareholders. But then in 2007, I went to the Live 8 concert in London, so big event to raise awareness around poverty and injustice in Africa. And that just felt like an amazing event. Lots of people coming together, lots of attention focused on issues that I really cared about. And there was a real sense of optimism that we could change things. And I just thought, I want to be part of something like this that's big and important and really means something. I knew from a young age that um, I wanted to be involved with the media somehow and uh, because I already had experience in music production and sort of sound generally, um, I decided that being a sound engineer would be the natural job for me to do. I started teaching, but teaching didn't pay very much money and didn't let me go overseas. So yes, I, have, I changed then, I joined the Foreign Service and I spent 31 years in the Foreign Service. At the moment I work in uh, Bookies, so I'd like to change out, I'd like to start, my, start up my own business. So can you describe for me a typical day now? Um, my daily life is incredibly varied. I work on so many different projects within Oxfam. It's really great because I'm very nosy, so I get to be nosy into everybody's projects. It can still be stressful, but in a very different way to my old life. Can you pinpoint for me any particular project that you've worked on that you found really rewarding? I worked on the Oxfam Unwrapped gift catalogue, which is a scheme by which you can buy gifts. So if it's your friend's birthday, instead of buying them some socks or bubble bath, you can buy something like a goat or a toilet. They get a fridge magnet and a card, so it's a nice funny gift for them. And the money actually goes to buy that item for a poor country where Oxfam works. So it actually makes a real difference to the lives of people in poverty. The Army is the only sort of career that I've ever really considered. And they do a lot of charity work themselves in Africa and things like that. So I'd like to be a big part of that as well. In my career, I um, do make a difference. That's my job. And um, I make a difference to the type of people that I recruit because they make a difference to the organisation that I work for. I try to make a difference by occasionally donating to charities, um, occasionally doing a bit of voluntary work for charities, especially hospices. Unfortunately, I had an accident several years ago and it changed my outlook completely. I'd never considered anybody else before, but now I think of other people all the time. And whichever job you're in, you can actually make a contribution to society. And so you should be. It should be part of it. 